Wombat Jones for Ramen Chokehold. I am here with Ben Vickers, who's the matchmaker for Eternal. We're down here at Southport Sharks. Eternal 30s on tomorrow night. And mate, everyone's just weighed in and uh, how the boys look. Pretty much everyone, yeah. Well, pretty much, yeah. We're, we're, still, we're still waiting on uh, the, the title there's challenge. There's a celebrity, yeah. yeah there's always got to be one that's yeah. always late, mate. But, uh, you know, let's talk about that, that uh, fight. And we've got Mitch Martin versus Coolbones in, you know, for the Bantamweight title. Yeah. Mate, what do you think about that fight? Well, uh, Mitch is one of my students. So, um, obviously, I'm very confident in that fight. However, it's not a fight that you can take lightly. Uh, there's no one Chris hasn't fought. Um, you know, he's not, never turned down, turned down a fight. He's a veteran. He's just been to China to fight for a Red Bull FC title over there. Uh, he's been on a good run of late. But he's a guy that you've got to watch your P's and Q's with. You know, he's solid everywhere. Um, but I think Mitch is just too much for him. And you know, let's talk about Mitch a little bit more. He's the champion, and yeah. and he's only four and zero, which is actually quite quite a young record, you know, for yeah. a champion. You know, what sort of, how does that play with his confidence and his experience, all that sort of thing going into the fight? Uh, Mitch isn't worried about the record. It's just, you know, he does his talking in the cage. You know, there's a lot of talk that goes on behind the scenes about whether he's a worthy champion or not. But all he can do is do as he's told, get in the cage, fight who he's supposed to fight, and, and get the win. And he's one of them characters that. If you don't kill him or put him unconscious, he's going to keep coming. So, yeah. you know, and he's got the cardio and the heart and the chin to go, as you saw in his last fight where he got a TKO in the third round of, a, of a absolute war. You know, he's going to keep coming at you. Awesome. And then uh, following down from that, we've got the co-main event. We've got Kieran Cronin. He's up against Andrew Kahare, who's out of uh, Parosh's gym there. Yeah. And that should be an absolute barn burner. What do you know about these guys? Um, so this is a potential for sort of if, if you. Um, see these guys they're probably going to be the ones with belts around their waist. You know, I see um, Casey and Kieran Cronin as one of the up and coming. You know, he's, he's left his career a bit later, you know, he's not as young as some of the guys going around, but you know, having the flip side of that is he's got his black belt in Jiu Jitsu, he's got, um, he's just had his second pro boxing win, um, so he's doing it the right way. He's a very cerebral guy, he thinks very carefully about um, his training and, and his career path and progression. And, I think he's ready to, to you know, really make a mark on the, the bantamweight scene. Yeah, and that's obviously a great fight as well, leading into the to the main yeah, event like, because it's possibly that you might get a challenge out of one of those yeah. two. Yeah, yeah awesome. And uh, and after that, we've oh, sorry, before that, we've got the big boys, and and like Cam was just saying to us, it's very rare that you do get a pro heavyweight fight these days. I mean, they're yeah. very few and far between. We've got Jack Tuave versus Jake Logan, and uh, whenever the big boys throw down, everyone's keen to watch that yeah, show. Yeah, it's one of the, um, the cage engineers have to make sure that the cage is ready for, um, for the action. And yeah, everyone loves a heavyweight fight. To have that before the two little guys in, you get the nice contrast between, um, between the sort of heavy hitting um, action of a heavyweight fight, and then you go into the skill and the, the lighter weights often. Um, those guys put on a really fast paced skillful fight and the heavyweights are often a bit more of the one punch knockouts and, and, uh, and big ground and pound and, and slam and stuff like that so yeah it should, should be great to, always nice to have heavyweights on the card. And uh, if anyone, I know there's not that many tickets left, there's only about 40 or 50 or so but if anyone's watching this and they want to grab a ticket where, where do we go about getting a ticket? So um, tickets are, are available online but you'd have to pick them up at, at the door so if you want to make sure you're going to get a ticket then come on down uh, to the event, grab your ticket uh, on the door. I think we've only got seats left. You standing, standing is all gone. Um, or uh, go online, book your ticket, and we'll put it on the door for you. Awesome. So there it is, guys. Eternal Thirty goes down tomorrow night here at Southport Sharks. Thanks so much, Ben. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Ta.